Hey guys, it's Becky. I am back with another process video. Today I'm going to be using Simple's Stories Bloom and Grow collection for my layout. I am doing a 12 by 12. I went ahead and already had cut some flowers out of my silhouette. I used a cream colored cardstock for the border and pattern paper that goes underneath the flowers. I did stitch in the center of the flowers on here. I'm going to do a very basic layout. I'm using this black wood or black, oh, this brown wood green paper as my background, and I'm going to put that cream colored strip right there in the center toward the bottom horizontally. I am using this yellow, kind of yellowish orange colored cardstock to back my photo. I'm also going to cut my title out of my silhouette using that same cardstock. And I did cut the title out twice and the first layer, layer is on white cardstock and I just glued them together. Right here I am arranging these flowers how I think I might want them to be. So this is very interesting. This right here is a photo of a cicada or a locust. They're, the words aren't really interchangeable technically, but we always do interchange them, right? We call them all the noisemakers locusts. And this is a cicada. They are underground for 2 to 17 years. And then they come out and they molt and turn into those noisemakers. And then not too long after that, they do die. So this little fellow was in our warehouse at work walking around. And one of the guys said, look at him. He looks like he's getting ready to molt. And he knew he was going to molt because he, was, he had come out from underground. So when they come out from underground, that is when you know they're going to change and get wings. So he kind of moved him over to the side of the warehouse so that he could do his business without being in danger of getting run over by a forklift or someone stepping on him. Well, the next morning when we came in, he was in the middle of the warehouse again. So I put a few items around him so he wouldn't ac accidentally get trampled on because he was already on his back starting to molt. And I had put a milk crate on one side of him and I ended up propping my phone up on this milk crate and I just took a video of him molting. I didn't get the entire process because my phone started overheating. It was probably recording for about an hour and a half. And if you stay tuned, you will see a clip of him molting in fast forward. So right there, I went ahead and put down my journaling. This journaling card, I think, was from a Maggie Holmes uh, paper I'm not really sure and then I put that green strip down it says it's a new day it is kind of like a banner I put down a gnome and also a pinwheel die cut and I popped the pinwheel up on some foam tape I am scattering around some butterflies because I thought those were perp perfect because that's what's gonna happen to this locust he's gonna molt and he is gonna get wings like a butterfly only he's when he molts, he turns kind of a green color, a, a yellowy green color. He won't stay that color. He will eventually turn brown and be really ugly again. But for at least a few minutes, <laughs> okay, probably a couple days, he's going to be green and pretty. So then I go ahead and put some nail dots in the center of the flowers. Right here, I am putting down July 2016. And this is so funny because I hate bugs, but the thing is I love to watch them in their habitat. I hate bugs in my house. Like if there's a spider, go outside. I will watch you weave your web all day long. Come in my house. You're probably going to die. So, you know, I don't know. Anyway, here it goes. My favorite part is when his wings spread out. That is so cool. And I don't know what he's doing with his shell. I didn't research it. I have no idea. So that's pretty much all of the footage I got before my phone started getting hot. So I don't think I do anything else to the layout. I am going to show you some close-ups. So thank you so much for joining me today. And if you have as much interest in the bugs in their own habitat as I do, because they're interesting to watch as long as I don't get near you, then 
I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed it anyways, but thank you so much for joining me. I will see you next time. Bye.